Hi, I'm Julia and in each episode of this playlist I will present an Italian region and its main attractions. This video is dedicated to Calabria. Calabria is a region in the southwest of Italy, far from common touristic paths, so usually left unexplored by international travelers. This region finds itself in the middle of two seas. Tyrrhenian Sea is on the west side and is warmer, while Ionian Sea is on the east side and is usually colder. Indeed, there is one main reason to visit Calabria, seaside. The entire coastline is full of amazing seaside spots, with crystalline waters, sand, rocks and natural areas. And as it's not a super touristic destination, it is probably one of the best low-budget holidays to have in Italy. Tropea, the most popular seaside destination in Calabria. Scilla Beach and the old fisherman town Chianalea. Sicily seen from here seems so close that you think you can actually touch it with your fingers. Praia Mare and Dino Island, great destinations for scuba diving. Soverato, known as the Ionian Sea Pearl. It is a protected sea park in some areas as many hippocampuses live here. Capo Rizzuto, with an imposing Aragonese castle on the beach. San Nicola Arcella, a tiny lagoon with a huge rocky arch separating it from the open sea. The secular beechwood forest in Pollino Park, a UNESCO heritage site for its 500 years old beechwood trees. Sila National Park, the most extended plateau in Europe, known for its exceptional biodiversity. Rocca Imperiale, a traditional borgo in the north, or Gerace and Boba, traditional borghi in the south. Reggio Calabria. I personally love the city of Reggio Calabria, right at the tip of Italian boot. So close to Sicily, but separated by the dangerous strait of Messina. Its seafront was defined by an Italian writer as the most beautiful kilometer in Italy. Reggio Calabria hosts the National Archaeological Museum with the biggest collection in the world of ancient Greek bronze statues. The pride of this collection are Riace bronzes, two of the few full-size Greek bronzes remaining, representing naked bearded warriors. Calabrians always eat spicy dishes. Indeed, the original pride of this land is chili pepper. If you can't stand spicy food, make sure to express it out loud in a restaurant. Other regional food products are sun-dried tomatoes, licorice and bergamot, a citrus fruit only cultivated in this region. A must-try food is nduya, a spicy spreadable pork made from shoulder and belly pig, tripe, roasted peppers and spices. I like it very much on pizza. If you come to Calabria, you'll definitely want to bathe in its waters, so come here when there is hot weather from May until October. But if you happen to visit Calabria in winter, know that you can also ski here. It seems impossible as this region is so close to Africa, but in the Aspromonte National Park you will find ski facilities, for example in the town of Gambarie. Catholic holidays are very much celebrated. For Easter celebrations, every town has its own traditions, usually involving parades of St. Mary and Jesus statues. A religious event called Baria in the city of Palmi is a UNESCO intangible cultural heritage. During this celebration, 200 carriers carry 16 meters tall figures above a huge holy wagon representing the Assumption of the Virgin Mary. It's usually held on the last Sunday of August. It is better to travel through Calabria by car because public transport is not extended in the entire region and it is sometimes impossible to reach certain seaside spots if you don't have your own vehicle. Guido Piovene, an Italian journalist, once said Foreign travelers get confused in Calabria. They cannot define it. They find it different, not only from the other Italian regions, but also from the entire world and they struggle in judging its inhabitants. If you would like to know more about Calabria, we will leave you some useful links in the description below. Subscribe to our channel and see you in our next episode of Where to Go in Italy.